What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time I'm taking a look at our boy DSP's daily wrap after his Disney Princess late night stream which was just an utter, utter disaster. And in this video, our boy Phil just looks like a beat up, defeated man here and it's quite sad. And the funny thing is, is that our boy is just utterly contradicting himself. One minute he says, you know, he needs to scale back new releases and, uh, you know, just do streams of games that his deadheads want. And then in the next minute, he talks about how uh, he, he needs to play more new releases. And that's, you know, because he didn't play more new releases, his channel is dying. And I, I mean, essentially, he's just all over the place and contradicting himself. And I think our boy is suffering through the five stages of grief, where I think he's finally realized that DSP Gaming is utterly dead. It is a dead channel, and there is nothing he can do to revive it. It's been two years and nothing. Everything he does has just utterly failed. So I'm not going to talk about that right now. I think I'm going to do a nice lengthy uh, video on that one, where I'll talk about the different the five stages of grief and how Phil is progressing through those stages and how I believe ultimately it will be the uh, downfall of our boy Phil. You know, he's getting to, uh, he's getting to that, 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 that end of his rope essentially. And he's flailing around trying to find, you know, another rope to cling on to. And I think all of his ropes have uh, been cut or greased up and there's no saving our boy. So let's watch this video and uh, yeah. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Sunday, the 13th of November, 2022. Today was a fun and chill streaming day, which was very, very appreciated. Um, on the Level 1 podcast, we discussed a few different various topics. One of the interesting ones that we actually discussed today was the fact that I've been getting some different suggestions of things that I could do on DSP Gaming. One person had actually sent me an email with a really interesting observation, basically saying, your channel's not, you know, getting smaller. That's a good thing. But your channel is also not really growing. It's kind of stagnated over the course of this year. Um, perhaps what you should do, rather than using your old strategy of playing every single new release. Mind you, that's after implementing. Remember, this was supposed to year. This was supposed to be the year that Phil was going to focus on engagement, on getting views, on uh, making the channel more uh, viable and, you know, having it becoming more mainstream. Remember all those things in December? Our boy focused on and talked about and he you know that was his goal he did all that and essentially his channel died even more this year now i'm actually going to do a video later you know i have a whole bunch of video ideas for our boy so i like to save some of them for when he's off so that you know i can focus on and not worry about having to clip his main streams uh but essentially um you know i i wanted to do a video looking at his monthly statistics and how essentially his channel is just rock bottom in like the last five to six months, about five to six months, he's just utterly cratered. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, like I said earlier, I think our boy is at his, uh, he's at the end of his rope and, uh, he's either going to have to make a huge change, which I don't see him doing, or just accept that he is who he is and just, you know, keep streaming, keep doing what he's doing. And hopefully the, uh, the whales won't dry up and yeah, he'll just struggle along. Like I know he's getting big tips and he, you know, like I said, he makes anywhere between 120, $25,000 a year. But of course for Phil and his debt and, and his spending habits and so on, that's not enough for him. And we talked about that earlier regarding how Phil, whether Phil is poor or broke. And now I gave my explanation and said that Phil is actually broke. Um, you know, it'd be one thing if he was poor, but you know, he's actually broke and you know, poor, being broke sometimes is more difficult than being poor, you know, being broke, you know, is usually stemmed from bad habits of the person, just, you know, wasteful having, having addictions and so on. And, you, and we've talked about that at length for our boy DSP. So yeah, I mean, his channel is dying folks, especially during this busy gaming time of the year. <clears throat> Perhaps I should cut back on the amount of new releases that I play and balance that with other games like classics and other things that maybe either I've never done from the past or things that my viewership want to see, you know, mix it up instead of always just doing new release, new release, new release during this fall and, you know, busy holiday gaming season. Um, we talked about that for a while. 
on the podcast today and kind of weighed and balanced the options and things like that. Um, and it's interesting because I have to kind of agree with the person that it's not like it used to be. DSP Gaming is not in that YouTube algorithm anymore. It doesn't get any attention from me playing new releases. Essentially, when I play a new release, it's the same as me playing any other game this day, these days. Um, which I'm happy with. I'm happy that no matter what I play, I get support and attention from my, my audience. But it is a shame that here I am, for example, playing God of War Ragnarok and I haven't really seen a single new sub. I'm not even exaggerating. I haven't. Like, since I started playing it last week, I haven't seen any new subscribers or any really any additional new viewers. Um... What did make this channel grow was a month ago when I played the Street Fighter 6 beta. I got almost a thousand new subs during that period of time that have stuck around. So, No, you didn't. That's the bots. If you actually go to your channel right now, you go to social.org. Your channel is at, I think it's under 200,000 viewers. So those subscribers that you got were all due to the body. We all know that. You actually dropped all the way down to about 198 and 198,000 so you've recovered a little bit about 200 subscribers since that happened a month ago but you are nowhere you did not get a thousand subscribers for street fighter most of the people that came out came out to laugh at you and to clip your streams i mean they knew that was going to be a disaster and they were just there for the shit show oh you see it's kind of interesting um anyway for an interesting discussion about that, watch the Level 1 podcast this morning. And by all means, please give me your feedback on that kind of stuff. I'm all ears. Uh, incidentally, it's funny because this was a year when I skipped a lot of new releases. I did. I was playing retro stuff almost all summer, skipping a lot of new release games. And a lot of people gave me shit for that. Why isn't he playing the new release games? Doesn't he understand this is killing his channel? In reality, I think it's the opposite. I think this person was correct, bringing up the fact that I'm basically making content for a direct audience i'm catering basically for them i'm making curated content which is exactly what they want for them <clears throat> uh, i'm gonna okay so i'm gonna give you a quick example this is the wings of redemption thought pattern right here where wings of redemption buys a new game for example modern warfare 2 he just bought he well, somebody bought it for him essentially he played it twice and didn't get the didn't get the donations and tips he wanted. So he deleted the game and stopped playing it and said nobody came to watch it. This is essentially what Phil is imploring here. He's in saying, nobody came to see my God of War streams. No one came to see all any any of the big news games. I didn't get what I wanted in donations. I didn't get what I wanted in subs and memberships. So I'm quitting. That's essentially what DSP is saying here. And what it just shows is it shows his lack of seriously commitment to actually trying to better himself and trying to do better on his streams and trying to expand his channel. He's one of these idiots that, like I've always said over and over again, Phil's motto is low effort for maximum profit. And he is the only business in the world that I know that is risk adverse, that basically says, I want to take no risk, but I want all the rewards. And that's why, Phil, that's why your channel is dead. But this is not content that's going to appeal to the mainstream. How do I harness that ability? How do I hone in and make that better content? How do I make people want to support more, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera, right? Anyway, good discussion. Check out the podcast for today and give me your your thoughts and feedback. Um, the mainstream today was God of War Ragnarok. All right. So this was the fourth stream of the game that I've done. Already, you can tell the interest is starting to wane, and what I mean by that is the attendance is lowering when I play this game. Initially, when I was playing it the first few days, you know, it was uh, maybe 400, 500, even more viewers. Now, we're barely even maintaining 300. And this is what happens with a popular game, is you got people who maybe were only for the first few parts, and then they know what it is, they're not interested anymore. You got people who are playing it for themselves, um, and don't want to be spoiled, although it's pretty crazy that... You know, here we are four or five days into the release of the game. I'm only like 10 hours in. Most people have got to be past me in the game. Most of my viewers are telling me as much. Like, yeah, I'm way past you. That's why I'm here today. Um, <clears throat> but it is what it is. It was still a great stream. Great progress. I'm still loving the game. Today there's a little bit of, of a variety in the gameplay. I won't spoil. Please watch it first. Um, so I will not tell you exactly what happened today. But I definitely like the variety in the gameplay that happened. Um, major plot developments today as well. That got us kind of headed towards a new direction in the game which is really cool and i had a great time with it all right it was good i'm excited for more uh tonight's late stream was disney dreamlight valley and it was kind of bittersweet because it was fun to chill with everyone but the game's now on hiatus as i need a lot more time to focus in on the new releases <clears throat> i just don't have time for 
you know, these constant chill streams uh, that we've been doing over the months, you know, games like Bassmaster, Disney Dreamlight Valley, etc., are all kind of being semi-retired, so I can focus in on the new releases and, and progress in them, which is great, but I understand that there is an audience that likes just those chill streams. Um, admittedly, tonight was probably one of the lowest attended Disney Dream live streams we ever did. I think what's happened is the game has kind of worn out its welcome because people want more of the new releases and they're a little upset that I've kept games like Disney Dream Light around as long as I have. Okay, he utterly just contradicted what he said a few minutes ago where he talked about how he needs to not focus really on new games but, you know, play games at his dense, I guess, whatever wants. Or play, you know, fan favorites or more children or whatever the hell. He just simply contradicted himself here. And that's the reason why, if you look at my video right here, I included the little, uh, the little, you see the little uh, uh, leaderboard score on the bottom. This was from Phil's Disney uh, Princess Valley stream where he made $28 and had no memberships, had like two super chats, right? And had about 150 people watching this boring ass stream. Boring ass stream. So yet again, our boy Phil just utterly contradicted himself. One minute he says he has to play more new releases. Uh, and then the next minute says he has to cut back on those releases. And then, you know, right now he's saying, well, people are mad at me because I didn't play more new releases. So he is all over the place here. And like I said, our boy DSP is struggling with the five stages of grief which I will get into in another extended video, folks. So let's finish watching this daily wrap. I still had a, an interactive and fun couple of hours. There was some annoying trolling coming on. We ignored it and uh, and just carried on. Made good progress, actually. Tonight, um, we actually got another new town person recruited, which was nice. We actually finally got to talk to characters like Ursula and Remy, who had always been asleep up to now, but for some reason they're awake. I guess maybe it's because of the time zone shift or maybe they patched the game. I'm not sure, but we actually made really good progress tonight. Um, and now the game is basically going to go, go on hiatus. Uh, it will likely come back <clears throat> sometime in December around Christmas because I've heard that the next update for the game is going to be probably right before Christmas. So it would make sense to bring back the game around then to see what the new content is. I even told everyone, if we happen to hit our members goal for this month and we do the Christmas marathon, um, basically this might be a game I play during the Christmas marathon. If people want it, if not, maybe I would do it just like right before. So that way we can have like a holiday special segment of it. Okay. So anyway, we are never seeing Disney Princess ever again, just simply because his chat was talking shit about it. Uh, our boy Snow Carl actually uh, made two donations and called Phil out for playing the horrible Disney Princess games, or he called it Princess games. And our boy Phil got upset, exploded, and threatened to ban uh, Snow Carl. So we're never going to see that game ever again. Thank God, because honestly, I, I can't deal. I can't sit there for two hours clipping that horrible horrible stream it's just bad there's nothing enjoyable about it occasionally you'll get one little clip that's interesting like his like last night he proclaimed his love for john rambo where he talked about how he used to give him bouquets of flowers so i mean but other than that it's just a two-hour bore fest you know it was a good stream night admittedly on the slower side when it came to people kind of showing up and engagement purposes and things like that um you know, I definitely noticed this pattern with Disney Dreamlight recently that over the last few times I've played it, it definitely didn't get as much interaction or attention as I did previously. Likely because all the new games are on, people are like, why the hell are you still playing this, right? <clears throat> so, overall, pretty decent streaming day. Great progress in everything I did. Tomorrow, Monday, we go back to uh, Sonic Frontiers on the main gameplay stream. Last time around, we got really far into the second world and looks like we were, we're probably gonna wrap it up tomorrow and probably head into the third. So that'll be exciting. Tomorrow night is Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. And finally, <clears throat> after two streams and four hours of grinding, I have unlocked the cost off 74U, which people are saying arguably is the best or one of the best assault rifles in the game. I cannot wait to try to start using it and, and hopefully it's really good like people have said. Uh, if it's good, I'll probably keep using this for several streams so at least I can maybe finally start to get some kill streaks and wrap up kills because the problem with this game is you're always grinding towards the next weapon and you always have a weapon with no attachments and stuff. It's very frustrating. You know, I feel like I would have been doing a lot better with a good weapon and I haven't used one in a while. So hopefully tomorrow 
We take care of that. We play with a great weapon. We make good progress. Good kill streak. Good, good everything, right? Reminder, there is one more streaming day after that for this week. God of War Ragnarok paired with Gotham Knights Endgame content on Tuesday. Wednesday is my day off for this week. <clears throat> when I return on Thursday, there'll be more God of War Ragnarok uh, paired with more Modern Warfare 2. And then Friday, the devil in me all day long. Horror returns to DSP Gaming. I know it's a little late because it probably should have come out on, in October, but it is what it is. Um, outside of that, great day. I'm not going to have any YouTube shorts for you guys today. I don't think there was anything super notable that happened either in God of War or in Disney that I feel like highlighting. Uh, I won't have YouTube shorts every day. It'll be days when I feel like there's appropriate stuff. Maybe we'll have some more interesting stuff happening tomorrow that'll be more appropriate. All right, guys. Thank you so very much. Please continue to nominate things for the upcoming Adpocalypse Marathon. You guys have done a great job of that today. I approved a ton more, and I'm excited because you're nominating more and more ads. And I'm like, wow, this is probably going to stack up to be a really great event at this point. So thank you for that. All right. Please have a good night. See you in the morning for Sonic. Peace out. Alright folks, I think I said everything I wanted to say about this video. Our boy DSP is struggling to accept his fate of having a dead channel. Oh my lord, crying emojis in the chat, pimps, crying emojis. Alright pimps, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.